is a Stage 3 VRS245. You probably must have seen it previously when it was in Stage 2 form. Link to the video right here. This isn't a slow car by any means. It now produces almost 440 horsepower to the crank, 0 to 100 km an hour sub 5 seconds, but as we all know, traction is key when it comes to acceleration, and the VR struggles to put the power down. That's why this is such an effective car, the Lancer Evo. Even it has a 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, but it has an all-wheel drive system, which means it can put its power down to the ground very efficiently, and that's why that is one of the fastest things around on the track strip. Now you've already seen our video on the all-wheel drive VRS but what happens when you take a formula like that and turn it up to bloody 1000? This is E-Tuners India's close to 600 horsepower all-wheel drive VRS. Now when this car was stock, it was 230 horsepower. So bringing it close to 600 horsepower, that's almost three times the amount of power. You have to talk about the engines and the mods done to this engine. So many a times you see us pulling out our phone and talking about the mods because the mod list is so long. Well, this mod list is so long that you can actually write a bloody dictionary. So now let me just pull out my phone and tell you and give you a gist of the mods. So the project is called Project Mighty Venom VRS 600. And the amount of mods, I'm going to start now. A fully built block with 9.3 CR, forged pistons, forged I-beam connecting rods, APR L19 rod bolts, APR 2000 head studs, ported head with IE valves, springs and retainers, IEBED rear main seal, high boost head gasket, APR block studs, Malay rod rings, 65 mm thick blaze intercoolers. I mean, the mods are so much that I really can't even put them on the screen. We'll have to do a completely different video for this. So stay tuned for part 2. Today we are, we are here at N1 Racing and we're going to give you exclusive insight and an exclusive footage of this car doing a real dyno run. So wait for that because this is going to be absolutely insane. Now before we get on to the dyno, I quickly wanted to talk about the interior and the exterior. So let's start with the interior. And there aren't that many differences, but the most prominent one is this beautiful steering wheel. It's a carbon fiber Alcantara steering wheel and it's absolutely amazing. And the best part about it is that the carbon fiber part is actually not like a normal weave. It's actually chopped up carbon fiber that you find in like Lamborghini, Huracan, Performantes and stuff. So it looks very beautiful. You have these cool little paddle extenders because I think you need something to grip onto this while it's accelerating because it's going to be violent. And the other thing which is a very major upgrade actually is that Normal stock VRSs come with a normal manual handbrake. This has an electronic handbrake and it has auto hold as well. So that's a cool little upgrade. But overall, this car in the interior is not that different apart from the steering wheel. And on the exterior, again, you'll see it looks pretty much like a stock VRS. There aren't any stickers. There isn't that much of a difference apart from the wheels. Some things I forgot to mention is that it has the honeycomb style grille up front to match the theme of the car. The tail lights and headlights are now slightly blacked out and the car is sitting on some beautiful HRE wheels with not so grippy hand cook rubber. Oh and yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention is that if you open the boot, you'll see a little container on the left side which is actually a water meth injection system. Here are a few quick pulls that the car was doing before the dyno run. <laughs>
वाइल्ड नंबर्स 576 हॉर्स पार एंड 655 न्यूटन मीटर्स ऑफ पीक टॉक फ्रॉम अ 2 लीटर TSI Yes granted that this is a fully built engine with forged pistons and the turbo the size of your head but just looking at those numbers being pumped out of a 2 liter four cylinder engine is absolutely mind bending but more impressive are the draggy figures 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.7 seconds 100 to 200 kilometers an hour in 7.25 seconds 0 to 200 kilometers an hour in 10.86 seconds and a quarter mile time with passengers full interior non prep surface and a good amount of fuel of 11.15 seconds even more bonkers is that shri ram the master tuners for e-tuners india is saying that after more fine tuning and adjustments and maybe some stickier rubber this thing can easily record a quarter mile time of 10.5 seconds that's faster than most modern supercars are able to do so later that night we headed to mexico bridge to see for ourselves how this wacko of a car feels cannot describe the feeling and the rush that acceleration gives you it is something that i've never felt before i've driven some wild cars like the bmw m8 but nothing comes close to the sheer brutality of this car but that's it for this video wait for part 2 where we will be actually driving the car and hopefully by then the car will be completely prepped and ready to cause even more mayhem thank you so much for watching this is soam saraf subscribe to the channel comment down below what you think of this absolutely monstrous build check out our merchandise check out our new website and i'll see you in the next one